We are going to talk about something no other hiker is talking about right now on the interweb or in YouTube, which is really odd because it's like a big story right now. So stick around. <laughs> Everybody, it's me, Len, and there's Gus right there, over there. Anyways, hey, uh, you know, right now, Western United States is burning up. We got over 100 wildfires going. Last weekend, I was visiting my mom in Yakima, Washington. We drove back up through what they call the Cold Creek Fire, I believe it is, when it, just shortly after it had started, and it was pretty nasty. So I wanted to do this video. Just a quick shout out to all the firefighters that are out there, Forest Service, Department of Natural Resources, local state forest or state firefighters. These guys are putting their lives on the line every day when they're fighting these fires. My mom worked in the Okanagan National Forest for many years. She retired out of there, fought forest fires, ran pumper truck, worked on the helipads and stuff during these big fires. I know what it's like. It's pretty nasty stuff. Most people have no comprehension as to what these wildfires can do, how fast they can move, how hot they are, and how indiscriminate they are. I think most city folk, no offense for those of you who live in a city, so do I, but I think most city folk don't have, they can't comprehend what these fires are like. We, uh, we make a trip over to the Okanagan Oh, usually about once a year. We visit a place called the 30 Mile Fire. There were four firefighters that lost their lives up there. It was an extremely tragic situation. But you have no idea what these fires are capable of until you're standing in one of these valleys with four, five thousand feet foot mountains all around you that are just totally wasted. There's no vegetation. All the trees are gone and have been burned. I implore you to be careful out there. Don't have fires right now. If, they're, if, they're, if you have a burn ban restriction on, pay attention to it. If you can help out or donate to these firefighters in any way, shape, or form, water, financial, whatever the case may be, if, they local, if they're locally in your area fighting these fires, don't be afraid to reach out and give them a hand. You know, probably not fighting the fires because you're probably not skilled enough to do that unless you're a former firefighter or maybe a current one it's just important to be mindful even the simplest things can cause a fire something as simple as leaving your glasses on a picnic table or sitting on a blanket next to dry grass when the sun's shining i'm not going to bore you with all the statistics on how many hundreds of acres have burnt how many hundreds of acres are still on fire you can look all that up. I'll put some links in, this, in the description down below if you're curious about that stuff. But it's becoming more and more prevalent on the internet, so it shouldn't be hard to find information regarding that. But anyways, the whole purpose of this video was just to give a shout out to the firefighters and just to remind everybody to be careful out there. You know, if the woods burn down, where are we going to hike? And when we do hike through them, it's ugly. Anyways, I want to give a shout out to the Baker River Hot Shots. They are our local hotshot team, and they're an awesome crew, and to all the firefighters, actually. The bottom line is, these are our woods, or our forests. We need to take care of them. If, if, if we end up being stupid and burning these things down, well, then we got nothing to backpack and hike in. So pay attention. Just, you know, don't be a dumbass. So from Gus and me to you, be safe, be happy, happy trails. Go pound some dirt if you can, and we'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>